our powerful search engine uh, for our Kina Nav called QSearch. Uh, so a little uh, kind of overview about what we're gonna do today on, on the webinar. Uh, we're gonna get, kind of go over why we, you need QSearch. Um, I'll give you a little overview of the GUI itself, um, the QSearch Chrome extension, and then some requirements and specification for using the QSearch. And then we'll end it with a live demo of using QSearch itself. So first of all, uh, why why would you need this uh, Q search? Uh, the reason for Q search is because nowadays, with um, capacity of the NAS getting much larger and uh, buying storage is a lot cheaper now, especially now where you're looking at uh, purchasing like a four terabyte hard drive, which is uh, somewhere in the ballpark of $150, which is very cheap. And with four terabyte drives, um, you can you can you know that you can store a lot of data with that, especially if you're in a small medium business or big businesses, you can have uh, anywhere from thousands to millions of files uh, stored on the NAS. And with that comes uh, the need to be able to search for your files and locate your files and where, where they're located on the NAS uh, much more uh, e easily and much more efficient. Uh, so with that, the solution for that would be our QSearch um, for the QNAP. It is a much more exclusive and smarter search engine. Um, it uses uh, indexing, so basically it indexes all the files on the NAS. So when you go and search for it, it's much, uh, it can find the, the results much quicker. Uh, it utilizes a TF, uh, IDS algorithm, uh, that helps to give you the best results based on uh, keywords and also not just keywords, but uh, maybe text in uh, uh, maybe a Word document. Uh, it doesn't have to be just the name of the file. It could be um, certain uh, words in the file. Uh, if it's music files, you can be able to search by uh, metadata information. Uh, you'll also be able to search maybe your, your picture files by tags. Let's say you put uh, it was a tag on it for a certain day, uh, maybe a certain location. It can also search for that kind of information, and then the results for QSearch will help bring that up uh, in the search as, as well. Uh, so basically, QSearch. Um, Uh, you put in a search, you put in a word for the search. Uh, when it gives you the results, you have the option to preview it. Uh, you also have the option to share, you can download it. You can also find out what the location of where it's located in the NAS itself. So that way, if you want to know where it's actually located, you can just go to it. Uh, with the search, you can uh, exclude certain folders from the NAS. So let's say you don't want to search everything on every folder on the NAS. You want to search only a few folders, or you want to just exclude one folder. For example, the web folder from the NAS to not be included in the Q search, um, you set the exclusion uh, uh, during the search, and then it'll go and index and do the search. When you search, it will only search for the folders that uh, you have included. Uh, like I said, it does indexing. So basically, with indexing, um, it does take time. It takes uh, depending on how much files you have on there, if it's a lot, it will take some time to do all that, but it gives you an indicator uh, to give you the ability to check on the status of the indexing. Um, this is kind of just a quick picture overview of how it will look like. It kind of tells you where each folder has a certain amount of files and that's already been indexing, and how much percentage is already been, uh, <coughs> how many percentage is already uh, done indexing. Again, this is just another, uh, picture showing the indexing, it, it runs as a background task, so you don't have to worry about it. When it's done, it'll give you the ready status. Uh, you'll see in the you see in the status bar here. And QSync also um, recognizes your permission setup. So uh, all the all the file permissions already set up on the NAS share folder on the QNAP those will also be respected by QSearch. So let's say you log in as a, a user that don't have access to the public folder. Uh, even though the public is um, included in the search, if you don't have permission to the public, uh, when you do a search under your account there, you're not going to get any results coming out from the public folder. So um, the QSearch will respect all um, permissions, uh, the simple one and just the advanced permissions such as Windows ACL, uh, Active Directory, LDAP, And then we'll kind of go over a little bit of the GUI. 
GUI interview, uh, the GUI uh, interface. So with Q search, you usually need a keyword um, to search for a, a certain file. You can <clears throat> there's multiple uh, files um, that it supports. Uh, you'll see in the slide and later uh, the supported files uh, format. So here you basically just type in a word. For example, in our example here, you type in snapshot. Uh, you'll see all the results that come up for snapshot. It's not just uh, the file name itself has to be snapshot. Like I said earlier, uh, it could be maybe a word inside the file itself. If it's like a word document, um, that snapshot, or maybe you put a tag called snapshot, uh, it'll be able to search those files and bring you those results as well. There's also quick categorization uh, where you can choose, let's say you just want to choose to search for all image files. Uh, you choose the image files, the image uh, icon here, and then it will give you all the images uh, that's stored on the QNAP. You want to do videos, click on the video, it will give you all the video results that's stored on the QNAP. Uh, music, documents, PDF, uh, Microsoft Word documents, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, all those as well. Those are just some simple, quick categorizing that you can do. Those are some of the more common types of uh, um, files. So that's why those are kind of considered quick categorizing. And then with that, you can also preview the contents uh, without even having to download it or actually having to open it up and go and find it in the actual location where it's stored. Q-Search allows you to actually just view the content there uh, while you're in the Q-Search. So let's say you're looking for a file or Word document, you want to just uh, kind of uh, see how it looks like or what's the content full of. You just open, up, you just do a quick preview on the PDF file, let's say, and then uh, it'll give you kind of uh, what, what the content of that PDF file is. Uh, same with Gmail. Uh, it supports the email file, so you can view your quick email, uh, see what that email was or, uh, in that search as well. And it helps you understand your file a little bit better. Uh, they give you some categorizing, uh, grouping by categories. You can group it by date modify. You can group it by date uh, data size. It's kind of a file distribution type of categorization uh, where you can say, I want to I want to know how how much of these types of files or how much of um, these files are at a certain day or a certain size. Um, the NAS Q-Search can do that for you here. One, this is just a quick example of the group by categorization. Uh, you can see that it gives you kind of like a little graph of, of how much images on there, how much music, how much PDF, how much Word, how much of the PowerPoint, uh, how much video, how much Excel files on there. So you kind of get a little better visual visualization of what it looks like. Uh, and the amount of data you, you have on the QNAP. And here's just another example, uh, grouping by the date modified. You know, it'll give you uh, how much you, how much data you have for how much from the results today, from yesterday, from seven days ago, from you know a month ago. And here's one by the size. So less than 100 bytes uh, and then more than 10 gigabytes. And then on top of that, you can also filter out uh, by date. Uh, they give you a time period. You can say, I want to do from, you know, last week all the way till today, or if you want to filter it by the size of the file, if you, if you want to maybe, if you know what the size is maybe, or you want to only search for a certain amount of a file size, you can do that with filter as well. Uh, really easy. You'll see the filter section here on the right side here. And it makes it really easy to with your families and friends. You want to share a link. Uh, instead of having to go through the file station and do the file share, you can do it directly from the QSearch itself. So you don't have to go back and forth between the two apps. Uh, QSearch will search for the file let you know where it's at, you, know, you can just uh, share the actual file directly to your, uh, you know, uh, to your friend or family or uh, employers or uh, whoever. Um, you can share as a share link, you can send it out as an email, you can share it to other NAS users on the, on the NAS. Um, and QSearch lets you do all that just from the QSearch app itself.
And along with QSearch, we also have a new uh, Chrome add-on, uh, the QSearch uh, add-on extension in Google Chrome browser. Uh, if you download that, it, you can use that to also search. So if you're searching Google uh, in Google search, uh, when, when you get the results, it also helps get the results uh, from the NAS. So this is just a quick demonstration of a simultaneous search. So uh, you're searching a QNAP company on a Google search, but it does Google search and it also will find uh, Q search results from the QNAP as well. So that's one po uh, another powerful tool of QSearch. And here's a quick requirement for using QSearch. Uh, currently right now all our uh, x86 based um, Intel model NASes requires uh, 2 gigabyte RAM. Uh, they do uh, recommend to use 4 gig. And to be able to uh, use QSearch you must be on firmware 4.1 or above to be able to use the QSearch app. And here's a quick uh, overview of some of the file types uh, that QSearch is able to support. Let's take a quick look at it. And then here's just some excluded extension that uh, is not going to support. These are more like temporary type file or uh, other not non-common uh, file types that usually are not uh, used much. Okay, and then we'll go on to our live demo here, uh, kind of show you guys a little bit of how the Q search works. Search, uh, you're gonna need to log into your QNAP. Uh, like I said, um, it should be at least on firmware 4.1 and above. Uh, we are currently on 4.2.1, so we should have the ability to do it. Uh, the first thing you want to do, uh, I already have QSearch installed here, but the first thing you're gonna want to do uh, on your system, if you don't have it, you want to go to the App Center, and then you want to go to All Apps. And then you can just look for QSearch or you can search for QSearch in here. And you'll find it. You're going to want to add it to your, to, to your NAS. Once it's added and installed, you open it up. And then you'll get the QSearch uh, GUI interface uh, that looks just like this. Um, so first thing you, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the settings on the QSearch and then go to the settings here. And then you're going to see an option to exclude location. If you want to do all the folders uh, on your NAS, go ahead and do that. If you want to only do certain folders, then go ahead and uh, choose the add to exclude. And then you'll get a pop up to exclude a certain folder that you don't want to be, uh, to be scanned and indexed. Uh, once you choose that, then you need to go down and save it and then exit out. And then like I said, you give it the, the opportunity to do its indexing, depending on how much files you have, it can take longer. Uh, once the indexing is done, you can see that it's ready here, then you can do your search and you'll be able to find almost all your files. Uh, even when it's still indexing, if you want to search, you can still search, but it might not be able to get all your results as it's not uh, done indexing. So uh, if you you're, you really want to kind of just um, test it out, maybe do a couple different little searches, see what comes up, but it might not give you the full result until it finishes indexing, okay? So if we just take a quick look at, um, let's say I want to see all the images that's on the QNAP. Uh, I can just click on image here for a quick, these are the quick categorization here, okay? So let's say I just want to result, I just want to see all my results of all kinds of images that's on my QNAP. I can just do images and then I'll see all my results of images. You'll see that there's 54,000 uh, results here. Uh, maybe if I want to filter it down more, I want to say how many, you know, how many images within the last uh, month, and we can filter. And this is, you see that now the results are down to 51. Okay. So those are just some um, <clears throat> filter here. Uh, 
for the images. Uh, if you want if you want to get rid of them, just get rid of the filter at the top here. Uh, let's say I want to I want to search for a certain image uh, snapshot. Let's see if there's anything for snapshot images. I get some images for snapshot here. You see, there's only 64 results for that. Um, if you want to do video, music, uh, there's still music for snapshot. So, and I get no results. Documents. PDFs, okay, and then this is just some extras um, for the Microsoft Word documents for the quick ca categorization. Okay, and if you don't want to do any categorization, you can just search for uh, anything without any any kind of filter, any kind of categorization, and it'll help find all that for you as well. But it will take a little bit more like this. So this is just the GUI interface for the QSearch itself um, when you use this. Uh, so that way it's easier to help find your documents. Okay? So like let's say you see, all, you see how this one has a preview. If you click on it, you'll be able to see the preview. Can I see the preview of where it is? And then it gives you the information about the file itself, what the title is. And it's going to be different for which, what kind of file, file it is. You know, music is going to be a little different uh, with the uh, information. Uh, documents can be a little different with information. And then your know, pictures can be a little different with information. It depends on their metadata information or a tag or uh, information like that. You also see there's options to open up in the browser. You can open up your file station and uh, you can also download the file. Okay. Let's say you want to, if you want to share the file, you can, you know. Select the file, and then you can tell it's going to the share here. And you have the option to share by email, to store. You can create a link, a share link, or you can just share it with other NAS users. Um, you can also change the viewing here from thumbnail to list view. Okay, you can change it by you can sort it by differences here, by name, by size, by date, uh, all that. Like I said, you can also choose it to uh, to download. And to open up a file station uh, as well. Okay, so and so this is the portion for the the Q search uh, GUI interface itself. Uh, so for the 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 Q search extension for the Chrome extension, you can just go to the Chrome uh, uh, extension and then search for Q search, and you'll be able to find it. And then once it's installed, you'll get a little icon just like this, the Q search helper. Here. So since I already have it configured, you'll see a blank list of connections. Uh, what you need to do is you need to click on the little plus sign to add a NAS. So this should be one of your NAS. It doesn't have to be a uh, uh, local NAS. It could be a remote NAS as well. Uh, you know. So if you have one local, then you connect to one local. If you have one remote, do the remote one. If you add it, you'll get this option to give the name, uh, given the IP of the NAS. Uh, what port is, is using, and then you need to log in with the username and password. Okay. Uh, once that's saved and done, you'll get the option here that says connected. Once it's connected, just go into your Google search. Let's say Google.com, and just make a search like say snapshot in the end. <clears throat> so you'll get results for the window uh, for Google's uh, search here, and then you also get results for uh, the NAS. We have two NASs uh, that was connected to QSearch Helper. So you'll see this is the first NAS, the home. And then you scroll down this, you'll see the second NAS here, which is the other second NAS. So it'll show the results uh, of the multiple NASs you have connected. If you have just the one, it'll show you the one. If you have the two or three, it'll give you results on two or three of those devices. If you're looking at, if you're looking, you're trying to find the file on, the, on your local NAS, then you can uh, choose one of these or go to where the results are coming up and then that'll, that'll uh, pick it up and then you'll be able to see your files uh, on the NAS, okay? And that's pretty much uh, it for the queue search. So I just want to thank everybody for joining us for this webinar. Um, this will be concluding the webinar for today, so I uh, hope everybody has a good day. Uh, bye now.